Right then, today I'm going to show you how I do my crispy pheasant burgers. So what I've got here in my tray, I've got two pheasant breasts. Now depending on the size of the pheasant breasts you've got, you might need to butterfly them. So that's just obviously cutting them down here, opening them up, just so they're thinner and they cook quicker. But my ones, I won't need to do that. So what I'm going to do with this now is make up my egg mix, my flour mix and my breadcrumbs. So I'm going to get that sorted and then we'll get them dusted off. Right then, I've got my ingredients ready. So the first bowl we're gonna use is the flour bowl, which has got some seasonings. It's got half a teaspoon of smoked paprika, half a teaspoon of garlic granules, a little bit of um, onion granules, and some salt and pepper. Then in here, I've just got one egg with a splash of milk, and these are just natural breadcrumbs, and you can get these from most supermarkets. So I'm just going to mix the seasoning flour together. Right, so once these are mixed up, what you do, like my goujon video, you get one of the breasts, dust it in the flour, just make sure everywhere is coated. Shake off some of the excess in the egg mix. And again, you want it covered because this is what's going to um, make the breadcrumbs stick to them. And then the last bowl is the breadcrumbs. And then that's it. I'm just going to sit it in my fryer basket. So I've done the second one. So with my fryer, I've got it turned on and it's at 140 degrees because any higher it will just cook all the breadcrumbs too quickly and your pheasant breast won't actually be cooked through so if you've got a nice low heat it will um, cook the breadcrumbs nice and golden and it'll get the heat straight through into the pheasant breast and also if you haven't got a fryer if you put about an inch to an inch and a half of oil into a pan and just shallow fry the burgers until they're crispy, you can finish them off in the oven. Right, so this is done now. So I'm going to get these over to the fryer and then we're gonna cook these off. Right, they're all ready to go down into the fryer now. And with my one, I know this will take about seven to eight minutes. So I'm gonna lower them in and just give them a nice low and steady fry. Right, so there we have it. One crispy pheasant burger served with spicy mayonnaise. And this is, I'm not sure if you can hear it, but just listen to the crispy it is. It is really, really crispy and it smells amazing. So there you go, another recipe you can do with pheasant guys.